right, today more dismal economic news helped push the Dow below the 10,000 mark for a period of time. Now, data released this morning by the Commerce Department revealed that new home sales dropped dramatically last month by a whopping 12.4 percent. And according to Reuters, it was the worst July for home sales on record. But don't waste your time trying to convince the Obama White House that a double-dip recession could be headed our way. After all, you wouldn't want to interrupt the president's vacation. While he's away, Joe Biden appears to have borrowed the anointed one's teleprompter. And in recent days, he's attempted to put a positive spin on the state of the economy. Look at this. We're turning this great ship of state around that was wandering out to sea and it's heading back to port. Now look, now it's not happening as fast as any of us would like, and certainly not fast enough for the millions of the folks who are still out of work. But there isn't any doubt we're moving in the right direction. All right, so forget about the fact that the Dow is plummeting and you can't afford to buy a home because according to Joe, we're moving in the right direction. So let's see if my next guests agree with that sentiment as I bring in Deneen Borelli of Project 21 and from the Fox Business Network, Sandra Smith is back with us. Well, is this just pie in the sky? You know, what reality is he living in? He can, he can say all that he wants, but there's one thing. The first thing you learn in business and economics, Sean, is that's that the market's don't lie. You just said the Dow breached the 10,000 yeah. level today. It's down 10% since April. It's down in the month. It's down on the year. The markets are telling us that there's some pretty ugly stuff happening here and that there's still some pretty ugly you know stuff what you to do, come. You know what's frightening me? Noriel Rabini, who predicted this, this first downfall, he was one of the ones to say he thinks there's a 40% chance of a double dip. More economists, they're not only saying double dip, they're using the D word depression, that America may even be in the midst of a depression. Right. You know, what, what does the average person at home think of that when Joe Biden says, don't worry, everything's fine? Is there ever any logic plugged into those teleprompters? That's my question. Yeah, really. yeah that's a yeah. great point. Well, well, listen, the, you know, the biggest problem, sorry, the biggest problem facing our country is uncertainty. Businesses don't want to hire. They're afraid to hire. They don't know how much Obamacare is going to cost. Consumers are, are hesitant to spend money because they're concerned about employment. And we have to remember consumers are 20 percent, uh, 70 percent of consumers are part of our economy. And it's a great point. I mean, the one thing we keep talking about, how, how busy this August has been, it's because yeah. companies keep buying other companies. Sean, they're sitting on $3 trillion in cash, and they're not hiring. They're not using that money to bring on well, new what, workers because uh, they're scared. Are, they don't they, know what's happening. Are they waiting for the political climate in the country to change? Are they waiting for the November election? Because that's a lot of money that business would otherwise have to invest. Are they waiting to see what happens with the Bush tax cuts, for example? The Bush or tax cuts, it's capital political gains. environment, capital gains. They're also, on a day-to-day -day basis, dealing with more regulation, more rules. Right. Every single day is changing, and they don't want to bring on new workers, and they mm. don't know what the environment's going to be three months from now. And speaking of the economy, you can tell I get riled up about this, but this yeah. is what we're looking at every single day. Mark Zandi was the chief, is the chief economist I over at this. Moody's. Yeah. He actually was an advisor on the stimulus to the Obama administration. He just came out and said, now there's yeah. a one in three chance of a double dip recession. Just a few weeks ago, well, it was Rubini one in five. saying 40 percent, and you got the guy in the Financial Times talking about the depression. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, look, I think these are scary words. What's the reality, though, that this could happen? The reality is it's, it's facing us right here and now. But here's the thing. If I was advising Obama right now, today, I would tell him to end this uncertainty by uh, extending the Bush tax cuts, which I already mentioned. I know. He is, but no. his polls are dropping, and to help un lift the veil of uncertainty, extend the Bush tax cuts. Don't uh, try to flip through climate change legislation during the lame duck session and, and release the ban on the drilling in the Gulf. You see, all of this is great advice, but the problem is he's never shown what you, you're urging him almost like the Dick Morris triangulate. You're, a, 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 you're encouraging pragmatism. It's common sense. When it's, it, well, but not in his mind. Taxing the richest and redistributing wealth is his common sense. But on a daily basis, just as we heard from Joe Biden, they're in denial. Not once. After right. these ugly housing numbers, this is just one report. Uh, yesterday, we got the existing yeah. home sales number, the biggest horrible. drop on record. All the people want is for, whether it's the president, the vice president today, to step out and say, this looks bad. But instead, the president gets on that conference call today with Larry yeah. Summers and the economic team. And Bill Burton, his spokesperson, won't even acknowledge that there was a discussion about a double dip, nor did they say that there oh, was a discussion about concerns. Well, the, uh, Boehner's <laughs> saying fire Geithner, fire Summers, their, their projections have been wrong. What percentage, you might know this, and I don't know the answer. I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> what percentage of the American people have their, their home values underwater, either below what they paid for it or even their mortgages, you know, underwater? It's big, and I'll definitely say it's in the double digits, if not in the 40 to 50 percent range. It's, okay. it's, it's 
nearing a majority of the country that's underwater in their homes right now. And every single day, more and more homes go into foreclosure. So they follow in the Hannity economic method, which is to buy high and sell low. Yeah, exactly. You know, and nobody's going to buy a home if they don't have a job. And none of the companies are hiring right now. So there doesn't look like there's yeah, any but think, end in But sight. think of what you're saying and look at the, the ripple effect of that. All right, so nobody's going to buy a used home. They're not going to buy a new home. So that's going to impact the building industry. Right. And that that's going to have the ripple impact on the huge. economy. And yeah. it's where do we look? I honestly believe, and I'm not trying to scare people, yeah. if we don't right the ship in November and change policy, I think America's headed for a lost decade or beyond. Right. Well, not only that, what else is telling is that a number of people have left the Obama administration who are his top advisors. Mm -hmm. uh, what's her name? Christina uh, Christine Romer, Romer and uh, Peter Orsak. Okay, so this was the A team, so to speak. I, oh. I'm afraid of what the B, the B team may be. Well, the possibly B team be. is Geithner and the, the tax cheat. I mean, he's the B team. Well, that's no better either. <laughs> well, he wasn't even the first choice. Do you see any any indication at all that, that they're willing to ship course here at all? Not until they admit okay. the, the problems. They have not come forward and, and taken responsibility or shown leadership in the fact that they can, they're willing to acknowledge the problem. And all that Boehner was saying is, hey, let's start fresh. Let's bring in some new blood. What we're doing isn't working. The stimulus isn't working. There are big yeah. concerns, and he's also losing his base. You know, a lot of blacks voted for Obama. Uh, they're even complaining about him. And yeah, so they even have So you, you see a demographic shift? I'm seeing a shift. I have people who are contacting me who are black, Facebook and email, and they're mm -hmm. saying that they agree with my policies. They agree with the importance of limited government, and they have some significant concerns. All right, guys, good to see you both. Thanks for being Thanks. with us. I wish the news was a little bit better, but it might be.